Hi everyone, my name's Jane, and my capstone project is targeting equitable community investment across Southern California. My advisor for this project is Pavo, and my client is the Southern California Association of Governments, also known as SCAG. Here's the zoomed out view of the entire poster to start. Let's start on the left side, in the background section. SCAG is looking for ways to better prioritize resources in communities most impacted by a variety of inequities. To do that, we have four main research questions. How can SCAG use data to identify and encourage disinvested communities to apply for funding? How much do existing geographic layers in the SCAG environmental justice tool overlap? What additional indicators can provide a more holistic picture of the most impacted communities? And finally, how could SCAG use data more strategically to evaluate applications and target investments in communities with the highest need? While this is primarily a research project, it also includes a prototype of two web-based tools to visualize how these recommendations can be put into practice. First is a mapping tool. Second, a scorecard system. And the last part of the background section here just highlights a few of the topics I covered in my literature review. We'll move over to the middle section of the poster. The methodology was a mixed methods approach. It included documentation analysis and semi-structured interviews with staff at SCAG and other organizations. I looked at two groups, MPOs, including SCAG, and other organizations that also have an equity lens in their work. You can see each of the programs and organizations listed on the top here. The ones in bold were also featured in a case study in the report. For all of them, I focused on learning about four areas in the middle. Indicators, scoring locations, mapping, and prioritization. Moving down, we see the start of the findings section here. For the findings, I split it into two different categories to make it easier to compare. The left column highlights findings from the MPOs, while the right column expands to include other organizations and programs. Here are just a few of the findings. A wider range of indicators are used at other MPOs. Comparing indicators to regional averages is more informative, it's helpful to see concentrations of priority populations mapped, and it's important to acknowledge the interconnectedness of equity when prioritizing projects. Moving beyond the MPO, the scope of indicators expanded a lot in other indexes. The scoring varies by the specific goals and orientation of the index, but in many cases, robust custom map interfaces can create a better user experience. And some organizations use a blend of indexes when prioritizing their projects. Next, we'll move over to the right side of the poster for the recommendations. These are just a preliminary starting point. SCAG will definitely need to do a lot more community and stakeholder engagement before implementing any of these changes. But so far, this summarizes the recommendations. The indicators and indexes highlights the core set of priority population indicators and then additional indicators by the four thematic areas. My recommendation for the methodology is to use the bin scoring method with the priority population and map that across the entire region, and then use the four thematic areas as different filters. SCAG could continue to leverage existing indexes, but in the future they could create their own custom indexes for each of the program areas after more in-depth data analysis. And here's a preview of the prototype in progress. It's very early and this is mostly full of placeholder content, but it's a big shift from the current method of just stacking a bunch of layers on top of each other. The program area at the top filters the map below. The map coloring would be based on concentration of priority populations, and the list to the right is sortable to make it easier to surface specific areas. And at the bottom here is a preview of the scorecard as well. This is still very much in progress, but to the left side shows the different sections of the scorecard, and an image on the right here shows how it might look built out in jot form. Feel free to reach out if you have any additional questions or comments. Thank you.